Jack for the tag, and I wanted to start this on, on a bright note because it's about to get kind of dark up in here. Well, hello. My name is Alan. Welcome to my channel. Let me try to get some light. I was tagging in a couple videos, tag videos, and I'd like to do the first one, tagged by Jack, over a rambling wreck on Cure. It's called the, uh, created by Josh, Josh the Baker, and the tag maker, uh, another food tag, some tough questions. I have to think about this. That's why I'm starting early this morning. I hope everyone like my new blazer shirt. I'm going to tag the, the boys of Codex Cantina. You can't even see the red. It's so dark still out here. It's only 6 a.m. here in Portland. Uh, first question is a uh, hamburger. If you were going to recommend one of your favorite writers to somebody, uh, which of their works would you recommend first? I'm going to go with Cormac McCarthy. Even before you get to Blood uh, Meridian or All the Pretty Horses, although I, I'd read All the Pretty Horses before Blood Meridian. Save that for like your third or fourth book. But the first book is one that Oprah Winfrey recommended to me. No, not personally recommended to me. Like, Alan, man, I gotta get another good rec for you. Not like Cliff Sargent or somebody, but um, through her book club, you know, recommended this book, Cormac McCarthy's first book, and it's called Child of God. A little book about a uh, little Southern uh, gentleman, uh, a necrophiliac, who um, takes a wife, and um, uh, he, he, yeah, he's a necrophiliac. And then um, he kills her, and all the town is like, he covers her up. Well, I don't want to give any spoilers. He, he's a necrophiliac, but uh, question two. A book or author that, well, the question is a uh, veggie burger. A book or author that encourages plant-based writing. And here I'm going to go with um, Philip K. Dick's Dallas and I'm gonna do a little tease uh, Ramsey and I are gonna do a question-answer type video Ramsey at uh, Rajan uh, Rajathan sorry uh, So stay tuned for that coming up probably this weekend. So I'm gonna have to edit that. This is question number two uh, See I'll put on my glasses. So I can see them the veggie burger burger is question number six down below. See below. But question number two is cheeseburger. And I had a good cheeseburger this weekend down in Mississippi neighborhood. A place called the Bar Bar. But we went in there because uh, it had open fire pits and it was kind of chilly willy. But two, cheeseburger. What is a reliable writer you can recommend? And uh, doing a buddy read. The last weekend of this year of one of my favorite writers, James Lee Burke, one of my favorite. Uh, he's not only a crime writer, he's a, uh, not only a Southern writer, not only a New Orleans writer, but Montana writer, Texas writer, reliable writer, great writer, great American writer, James Lee Burke. Bacon cheeseburger. <clears throat> a work, a writer that gives you a rush. I'm going to go with Hunter S. Thompson, and I'm going to go with uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, mentioned Cliff Sargent again. He did a review on that, like uh, in the the uh, tease title of it was uh, uh, the most exciting book in the world, something like that. But Hunter S. Thompson, I've read all his stuff, all the letters. I think all his stuff. Been reading them for years. See now you can see my Blazers T-shirt. Much better. Can you see my I Ching? Here's my I Ching. Ah. Mine like parachute, only work when open. So question four is a uh, pizza burger. And I had the same reaction that um, Jack had to that. No pizza burgers. But the question is, a writer from your country which would be America, born in another country, and I'm going to have to think about that. Chicken burger. Instead of reading this work by a writer, 
schools should read this work by a writer. I'm going to go with, instead of reading The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas, schools, people should be reading The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Blue cheese. Okay, I, uh, name a pe <sighs> pretentious work. Now here I'm going to probably go with some that I, I haven't even read yet. No, I shouldn't say Proust. Uh, people like Proust. Um, pretentious. Uh, I'd say something like uh, The Bridges of Madison County, which I haven't read. I'd say something like, stupid like that. Name a uh, book that about Native Americans. Uh, I was just telling Jack, I, I listened to, didn't review yet, All the Real Indians Are Dead by Roxanne dunbar Tez. All the Real Indians Are Dead by Roxanne Dunbar Ortez. I read, um, I should review, I, I read a bit of uh, Native American stuff. I'm involved with Native American things here in Portland, Oregon, in fact. I'd be surprised by that. Question nine. Question nine. Mushroom Swiss burger. No, you already asked me. I don't. I don't smoke. Uh, mushroom Swiss burger. Yeah. Uh, mushroom Swiss burger. Finally, uh, something I know a bit of, uh, something about. Name a uh, book that is musty and moldy and old. I'm going to go with my Finnegan's Wake or one of my Ulysses. Yeah. Turkey burger. A book that encourages a healthy lifestyle. I just saw this book. I'm going to go. I don't know why I'm promoting it, but Eat to Live by Joe Furman. Okay. Pub Burger, a 500 page, 500 plus page book. Uh, I'm going to say Against the Day by Thomas Pincham. I'm going to be rereading that with uh, some people next year, probably around April or May. Join the club. Uh, a few links below about my reviews of that book. I've, I've read it one time, so it begs rereading. Dinner Burger. Dinner Burger. Uh, a book that makes you feel physically and emotionally involved. And I'm going to say... Where the Crawdads Sing. One of my favorite books of last year. Go out and get that book. 13. Honest Fast Food. A work with a, a good exterior, but a poor interior. Catcher in the Rye, J.D. Salajar. 14. Shrimp Burger. A, a, a not, a, not a well-known book known about marine life. And I'm going to have to go with uh, Philip K. Dix Ballas. Stay tuned for a uh, uh, an interesting video from Ramsey and I. Ramsey at Rajathan. Okay. Now, uh, I there's three other questions. Um, please refer to uh, Jack or Josh's tag to get the series of questions, and don't make me type them out with my thumbs. Thanks. Um, and if you have any questions about the books that I mentioned, uh, please uh, don't be afraid to ask. I'm into Buddy Reads. In the tags, obviously. I mentioned my favorite burger is mushroom. They have to be either organic gourmet mushrooms or psilocybin mushrooms and Swiss cheese on a burger. I had that this weekend, I mentioned. Um, let's see. Uh, and the fun part is tagging people. I'm going to take some new people, or people I usually don't tag. I'm going to take Nikki and I'm going to. Uh, Take people who like to eat and cook. Uh, Nikki at uh, Dark Between Pages. And I'm going to tell you a lot of people before this gets around. Roz Scalad, if you, and I mentioned your name, you're tagged in here. Roz Scaladanelin about the books. Uh, oh, Dane Cobain, if you ever watch this one of mine again. I've tagged him a couple times. I know he's busy and behind. Dane at uh, Cobain Reads. Um, 
Elaine Howling. At Elaine Howling. I love her lovely cooking videos and that, her tea videos. Uh, Amy at, uh, from the Dusty Bookshelf. I like her tea videos. Um, oh yeah, and uh, Dan Cobain is a uh, vegan, a vegan cook. Uh, Sonia at an enthusiastic reader. Uh, Linda at the book lady. See how her latest recipes are. I hope she's well. You know, lower Oregon, I believe. Okay, uh, that's enough. Ta-ta, thanks for watching.